hey, welcome back. So we've already talked about keyframes, a little bit about what they are and how they work, and now we're gonna apply them to a real little animation. Before we can do the crazy stuff like explosions or walk cycles, you know, we're gonna start basic. You know me by now, I'm all about the fundamentals, okay? I want you to learn the basics so that when we're doing the cool stuff later on, it's all second nature and I don't have to go over it a hundred times, we've already done it, all right? And I'm also going to introduce to you my first boot camp style lesson. What is that? We're gonna to go to Keyframe Bootcamp where I'm gonna yell some instructions about slamming on keyboard shortcuts and drawing stuff on the screen so that you get it into your head. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. I'm all about you learning through repetition, yelling, fear, and having a little bit of fun. So let's try to mix it up and let's go. All right, so let's start a new shiny, clean, and fresh FLA. We're going to select HTML5 canvas. Doesn't really matter right now what document type we're using. And just like in the last lesson, I'm starting off with a blank keyframe here because there's nothing on the stage of the first layer. So hiding behind this red line here is one of those hollow circles. I'm gonna select my brush tool and I'm just gonna draw the number one over here on the left. As soon as I draw something on the stage, we now have a keyframe with the filled in circle that's black because that tells us, hey, there's something on the stage in this frame of this layer. Now, what I'm going to do is progressively reveal the numbers one, two, three, four, and five going across the stage. So right now I only have one frame. Remember, I can't grab the playhead and drag anywhere because I only have these frames that are light and dark gray alternating every five. What were they called again? Yes, I called them potential frames, all right? They're not yet in our movie, but they have the potential to be. So um, I wanna have a frame two here. And what I'm gonna do is just highlight frame number two. I'm gonna right click and go to insert keyframe. And now that I have a new black little circle here keyframe, I know from the last lesson that adding a new keyframe creates an exact duplicate of everything on the stage from the previous keyframe. So frames one and two are now identical. As I scrub the playhead back and forth, there's no change. I also learned in the last lesson, or I should say I taught you to learn, that in frame number two now, I can add something to the stage, like the number two, without affecting anything back in frame number one. So when I go to frame number two, boom, I have the number two. I'm going to now just right click on the next frame and drag all the way up here and look for insert keyframe. Oh my goodness, it's so laborious to use that right click menu. So now that I have the keyframe here, let me just put the number three in. Moving forward, I don't wanna have to open up this menu and read and find things. So we're gonna be adding a lot of keyframes, frames and blank keyframes, so it's time we started using keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcut for adding a new keyframe is F6. So without clicking anywhere, I just wanna make sure my playhead's in frame number three. I can just hit F6. That's gonna give me a new keyframe down here in frame number four. And then I'm gonna draw the number four. And without clicking anything down here, I'm gonna hit F6 again. And now I get a new keyframe in frame number five. And I'm gonna draw the number five. So in each one of these keyframes, one, two, three, four, and five, I'm adding new things to the stage. When I add new things to the stage in frame five, it's not affecting anything back in frame four. Now, if I go to play this animation, you're gonna notice that it happens, whoa, super fast, okay? Well, that's because these frames are all right next to each other. And at a frame rate of 30 frames per second, each frame is displayed for literally a 30th of a second, which is like no time at all. And to just play these first five frames, it's going to take a 10th of a second. So really there's no time at all for our heads to even really compute what's happening on the stage. We just see almost all numbers kind of appear all at once technically, um, even though there is a little bit of time in between them. So if we want people to actually have some anticipation for what the next number is, like you would in a countdown, you're gonna to wanna to have some frames in between each of these keyframes. So let's go back to frame one. Now I could go right click, insert frame, and then that pushes the second keyframe over a little bit. And if I keep doing insert frame, I'm gonna get so tired doing this, insert frame. 
you'll notice now that we have a keyframe and then we have these regular frames. Remember, they're solid colored backgrounds. And they tell us that for this span of frames, the stuff on the stage from the previous keyframe is going to stay static. So again, I can scrub through these frames and nothing changes. Uh, this rectangle here we ignore completely because all it tells us is that the current frame span is going to end. And the next frame, boom, we have a keyframe, the number two shows up. So by doing this, I've added some time in between the first frame, or the, I should say the first keyframe, and the next keyframe. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing insert frame all the time here to get more space between these two keyframes, I'm going to hit F5, which is the keyboard shortcut for adding a new frame. So I'll just do that three times. I'll click on the next keyframe. I'm going to hit F5 one, two, three times. I'm going to go to the next keyframe and hit F5 one, two, three times. And lastly, the last keyframe, one, two, three times. So now I have a little bit of time in between each one of my keyframes. I'm going to hit Enter to play. And now you can see that each time it plays, our brains have a little bit of you know, time to actually see the numbers and understand that there's a little bit of time in between each one. It builds a little bit of anticipation. Um, I still think there could be some more time in between each one, so I'll just bring my playhead back between frames one and five, and I'll hit F5 three more times. One, two, three. Go over here. One, two, three. Go over here. One, two, three. Go over here. Again, hitting F5 to add frames three times. One, two, three. So. Now my entire animation is 35 frames long, which puts it past one second. And let me just play it. All right, so there we have a very basic keyframed animation. On each new keyframe, this content on the stage is changing. What's that? What's that sound? It's time for Keyframe Boot Camp. What does that mean? It means we're now gonna do a fun little exercise where I yell instructions at you and you try to keep up. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna go to File, New, create a new document, and now, here we go. You're going to see you have a blank keyframe. I want you to select your brush tool. You're gonna to draw the number one. You're gonna hit F6, draw the number two. Hit F6, draw the number three. Hit F6, draw the number four. Hit F6, draw the number five. And what do you have? You have your first rapid fire keyframe animation. Now we need to add some time in between frames. You're gonna go back to frame one. You're gonna hit F5 five times. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna drag the playhead to the next keyframe. Hit F5, one, two, three, four, five times. Go to the next keyframe. Hit F5, one, two, three, four, five times. Go to the next keyframe. One, two, three, four, five. Last keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. All right, I want you to know these keyboard shortcuts like the back of your hand. I want you to take my keyboard shortcut guide, tape it to your monitor, tape it to the top of your head. If you fell behind, I want you to do this lesson again until you get it right. All right, you're gonna have fun. Do it, complete it, go. Normal, Daddy.